On the morning of May 26, 1990, Marlene Warren in Wellington, Florida, enjoying breakfast with her son, Joe Ahrens, when a clown appeared at their front door, carrying flowers and balloons. In a moment of unsuspecting joy, Marlene expressed, How pretty! Little knowing these would become her final words. The clown swiftly lifted a gun, ending Marlene's life and initiating a quest for answers that would span decades. Back in 1972, Marlene and Mike Warren tied the knot, seemingly building a prosperous life together. Joe Ahrens, only three at the time of their marriage, regarded Mike as the only father figure he knew. The late 1980s saw the Warrens settling in the Aero Club in Wellington, a community with houses boasting access to private runways. Mike and Marlene shared not only a marriage, but also ownership of several businesses, including Bargain Motors, a used car and rental enterprise under Marlene's name. Their ventures extended to rental properties, airplanes, and even racehorses. However, beneath the facade of success, whispers of marital discord surfaced, with Marlene expressing concerns to her son about Mike's alleged affair. The dreadful incident unfolded on that fateful day in 1990, when Marlene answered her front door, only to be gunned down by a clown bearing balloons and flowers. Joe Ahrens, along with three friends, witnessed the horrific attack. Rushed to a nearby hospital after being shot in the face, Marlene fought for her life for two critical days before being taken off life support. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office embarked on a thorough investigation, seeking clues from witnesses and searching for individuals who recently purchased a clown outfit. Suspicion fell on Mike Warren, who, at the time of the shooting, was with friends heading to a racetrack. Rumors swirled around Mike's alleged affair with Sheila Keene, an employee involved in repossessing cars for Warren. The investigation took a turn as authorities traced the flowers and balloons to a local supermarket, linking them to a woman resembling Sheila Keene. A store clerk's account further supported the connection, describing a female customer matching Sheila's description who had purchased a clown outfit with cash days before the shooting. Four days after the incident, authorities discovered a white Chrysler LeBaron matching the clown's getaway car description, in a parking lot eight miles from the crime scene. Inside the vehicle, investigators found orange fibers resembling strands from a clown wig. A subsequent search of Sheila Keene's apartment revealed similar fibers on clothing, adding a layer of suspicion. Despite circumstantial evidence, no arrests were made for decades. The case remained dormant until 2013, when a cold case unit reopened it shedding light on Mike Warren and Sheila Keene's marriage in 2002. The couple had moved to Tennessee, operating a restaurant named The Purple Cow, and using DNA testing in the evolving investigation. On September 26, 2017, 27 years after Marlene Warren's murder, Sheila Keene Warren was arrested for first-degree murder. Despite initially seeking the death penalty, the state later abandoned this pursuit in 2020. Sheila, now known as Debbie Warren, accepted a deal, pleading guilty to second-degree murder and receiving a 12-year sentence. Due to time served, she is expected to be released in 2025. Amid debates over evidence storage conditions and reliability, Sheila's defense maintained her innocence. After years of legal battles, Joe Ahrens, having spent decades seeking justice for his mother, approved the plea deal, finding solace in cherishing the memories of Marlene's life rather than dwelling on her tragic end.